Shortcuts, keybinds, whatever the heck you call them, they help us edit faster. If you have horribly mapped keybinds, it'll actually make you slower. So in this video, we're gonna go over the best keybinds I've personally found for DaVinci Resolve 16 so that you can edit your videos faster. Let's get into it. First, if you're new here, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification to be updated on the newest videos put out. So how I have these keybinds set up is that I actually wanna be able to do most of my editing, get to all of my tools with my left hand. And then I'll use my right hand just for my mouse and all of that stuff. So the first keybind that I use is S. S is the razor tool. What this does is it just makes a cut anywhere I hit S in the timeline so that I don't have to start hunting around and going to try to actually find the cut tool. I just have it right there. I hit S, it's beautiful. The next two keybinds that go along with that are the ripple tools. They're Q and W. Q is ripple back. W is ripple forward. So if you're cutting out like a blank section in your video, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your first cut with S, then you're gonna go to the end of the section that you wanted to cut out, and instead of hitting S again, then deleting it all, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit Q. And what it does is it deletes the whole section and moves everything over. And the same thing goes for W just the other way. Once you've cut up your whole project, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit escape. What escape does is it actually deletes all the extra empty spaces in your whole timeline. So you're not left with like two frames of nothing. It saves you from having to manually put all of your clips back together. It's pretty fantastic. And the next like three or four keybinds that I use, I usually use them all together. The keybinds are one, two, three, and M. One is reverse two times, two is pause, three is fast forward two times, and then M is the marker button. So what you do is you go to the beginning of your timeline and then you hit three, and you're gonna fast forward through the whole thing. And while you're doing that, you're gonna be listening making note where you want to add an edit, where you wanna put B-roll, where you wanna put text, where you think you should put something. To mark that, you're gonna hit M, and that's just gonna add a marker on your footage so that you can go back later and add that thing that you wanted to, maybe B-roll or text or whatever. So once you've made all your cuts and added your markers, the next thing is to add B-roll into your videos. What I always do is I add in and out points on my clips. So I just go to my clip in my preview window, and I hit I or O, which adds in and out point. So I add the in and out points in every single clip, and then I add those points into the timeline. Now let's say you've got your whole project together, your B-roll, your music, all of that good stuff, but you forgot to put one clip in, and it's just like this awesome clip. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put your playhead right where you want it, and you're gonna hit A. What it does is it selects everything to the right of the playhead so that you can just scooch it on over and add that clip in and then hit escape. It'll delete all the spaces you don't want. Ah, you feel that? Efficiency. So now you added that clip in, now you wanna actually slow stuff down. To get to your speed controls, I have it set to R. You hit R and the window pops up with either reverse speed or 100% or whatever percentage you want. Or you can hit control R, which brings up the retime controls and do it that way. Once you get the hang of these keybinds, you should be increasing your editing speed like two to three times. It's awesome. I've been using a variation of these keybinds for like three years now. Back when I was in Premiere Pro, I just kind of like started developing this and then I brought it over into DaVinci Resolve and made it even better then. If you want these keybinds for yourself, there's a link to my Google Drive in the description. Click on that, download the file, and then just import it into your keyboard shortcuts in DaVinci Resolve, and then use this video to figure out how to use them for yourself. Let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for even better setup of keybinds. I'm always trying to learn and improve my personal stuff. As usual, the video on the top is the last video I put out. It's all about DaVinci Resolve 16.1, full screen feature, which is just so sweet. Oh, it's just great. And then the video on the bottom is a video that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.